Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Spiritual Fluffers. Jason and Amy here. And today's episode is called Memory, Putting the Fun Back in Fungible. <laughs> so what does it mean that our memory is fungible? So this is actually kind of a mind mess up. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to use more foul language on Spiritual Fluffers. You know fluffers. I like to. It's uh, a mind fuck. fuck. That's what I wanted to yes. say. Um, <laughs> So, but basically all memory is fungible. It's, it's neither, it's not accurate. As soon as it goes into this system, your CPU. Our CPU. If it, you haven't seen the illusion of complexity, yeah. go watch that one. Yeah. And even if you had a photographic memory, it would be slightly altered. But most of us don't have a photographic memory. And most of our memories are actually in twofold. It's, they're both deeply flawed. How we remember it isn't actually exactly right. Um, the best example would be if you worked as a police officer or a DA, the worst evidence is actually... An eyewitness. An eyewitness. Mm -hmm. um, because yeah. memory is... Is, is fungible, yep. yeah. <laughs> it's it's not solid, yeah. is the rest way to say it, right? It's not, like a, it's not like a solid stamp that happens and remains. Yep. It, it's fluid. It's, it, it's altered basically... It's altered, and we think it's altered based on your perception of yourself. So if you're in a depressed mode, you're actually going to remember the memory in a more depressed light. But it's also fungible in a different way. It's both how what we remember. If we're in a depressed state, we actually choose to remember depressed stuff. If we're in a happy state, we, we choose... We focus on that. Yeah, so it's a twofold experience with our own reality our cpu is like oh i got this oh you want to reinforce that you're happy about yourself okay i can help you with that oh you want to reinforce that you're depressed oh i've, I've definitely, definitely got can it. help you with that <laughs> so we've talked in the past episodes around like this our the illusion of complexity one mm -hmm. that we were talking about that is there's this illusion that life is complex and that it's happening to me yep. so my beliefs around that actually influence my state of being, whether that's a depressive state or a happy state, a hopeful state, mm -hmm. a fearful state, yeah. all of what I believe is what helps to create the state that I'm in. And then the state that I'm in is the filter through which I receive any information. Yep. So if I am terrified because I am addicted to anger porn yeah. and I am watching the TV all day every day and the world is closing in on me and you know everything's wrong, then when I leave my house and I have interactions with people, I am doing that through a state of fear, yeah. a, a lens of fear. So what that means is that any memories of any interactions that I have are going to be fearful. Yep. Well, and they're also not real. Like they're also I've this, created them, yeah, right? They're slant, right? And again, we're not saying that they never happened. Like, yeah, no, you had experiences, but it's it's not accurate in the way you remember it. Right. So, a, a good example would be how we remember our parents. How we remember our parents. If we are angry towards them, we're going to remember them. Unfortunately, usually as this as this monster versus remembering them as probably just a deeply flawed person who had a lot of anger issues right or a lot of just issues right or just recognizing that they were actually coming at their existence their co-creation from their own lenses yep. and experience and perceptions and flaws and flaws not again were they this monstrous force there's probably not that many people who were or that many events in your life that were that way well and i have a friend now who talks about his father was incredibly hard oh, yeah. you'll hear him describe saying my, my my father was really harsh with us he was really heavy-handed with us yeah. he would knock him around yep. even, you know what i mean and so some would say that's a abuse that's yes. abusive you shouldn't do that to your children yeah. and they're right we shouldn't however there's also this perception that yeah. my friend has of that experience mm -hmm. that is if you were to have the father and ask the father his perception of yeah. that experience right yeah you would have two completely different perceptions oh it's amazing it's amazing how Again, you can have two people with the same exact event yes. remember it completely and utterly differently. differently. Almost, again, it's, it's why you could believe, like, oh, we're living two separate realities. 
and maybe we are, but most part, our memories are extraordinarily flawed. So why does it matter? How is it helpful for us to think about, okay, what is, these memories are flawed. These memories are malleable. They're fluid. They're not as real as I thought they were. Um, I think, again, that's part of our title is putting the fun back in fungible is, uh, again, we can choose that reality. Uh, mo uh, similar to dreams, we can actually... When the initial dream happens, you probably can't alter that initial reaction to it. But as soon as the dream starts unfolding, you can actually alter your perception of the dream. Well, and there's an entire the um, segment of the esoteric movement right now that is lucid dreaming. Yep. And there's books and all kinds of resources on lucid dreaming. Well, and, uh, where you are controlling your dream state. Well, and again, it's part of us and wanting uh, our viewers to to regain control of their imagination because the more you can dance with unicorns, the more you can dance with this, the more you can control it. Will you be able to control your initial reaction to the event? Maybe not, but as soon as that initial reaction happens, you'll be able to control it. You'll be able to control what you remember and also how you remember it. And again, most of the stuff, even if it was abuse or something like that, um... It's a, it can actually be very empowering. We had a friend who was both a, who had issues with drugs, mm -hmm. and she sees she still sees herself as you know flawed or, Weak or yeah, broken, or yeah. she had a bad life and she could have done this amazing stuff had it this had not happened. that happened. And yeah. Instead of remembering herself as oh my god, I am superwoman because you survived this really harsh drug addiction experience. Yeah. Not only survive but thrive on the other side of it. I mean, like sh should be dead. Should be dead. Yeah. Doing statistics, yeah. you are superman lotto yeah. winner. <laughs> yeah. Extraordinaire. Yeah. How you couldn't see yourself as amazing. And I think that's the important point in this I think as with all of our series we're trying to help you understand that getting a hold of your own power as a creative being mm -hmm. is what this life is about yep. we came here to touch base with our creative power and with divine source love Yep. And we came to love ourselves and love others yep. through that creative power. Yep. And so if memories that you have are holding you in a space of disempowerment, then what we're trying to help you understand is that your memories are fungible. They yep. can be rewritten. Easily. They can be repositioned. They can be removed if you want them to. Well, you can ask for really horrible memories to be taken away. Yeah, and that's fine. It doesn't make you suppressing them. It doesn't make you doing any of that. You're not stuff. avoiding. You're not what spiritual mm -hmm. bypassing. You're yeah. not, no. It's, no. Uh, again, it's, and this actually happens on an unconscious level between if you're happy or depressed. Like what you choose to remember happens already. You can either choose to keep it unconscious which is totally fine. Totally fine. Or you can make a conscious effort to control what you remember and how you remember it. Yeah, and I think, too, if you layer in some of our, the information from our other episodes around, um, you know, not consuming anger porn, not being so influenced by a belief in complexity, mm -hmm. allowing your understanding of this reality to be one that positions you oh. as an autonomous being with control. Yeah, and I, I, I'll say something that might be slightly controversial. You are not a product of your trauma. You are a product of your reaction to the trauma. Yeah, your belief of that trauma. Your right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. That, that's hard to, and it's yeah. subtle, but it's actually very important to see it that way, because again, once you recognize that you are. A infinite nature so you're actually not even a product of that but you can choose to use that to define you yeah yeah if you want to or you it's can, totally fine or you can actually use that to see yourself as this is part of my canvas it's a part of my canvas exactly but it's not all of it and I can actually use this to heighten my creative ability and heighten my ability to love myself better yep and I could choose to see myself as this amazing being that's have had this really harsh experience that I've come out of it and now I have all of this information from that experience that as I grow my blank canvas, I can paint even more beautiful pictures on. Oh, yeah. Right? The more intense the experience, trauma or whatever, 
the more ability you have to, to do it's that. almost and using the painter's palette analogy that we like to use all the time it's almost like many of our harshest experiences offer a whole new set of paint colors mm -hmm. that we didn't even know existed yep. before we had that horrible experience. Yeah. And you could either be debilitated or broken by that horrible yeah. experience and crushed from it and, you know, and not move forward in a creative yeah. way. Or you can kind of listen to some of the things we're saying, watch more of our episodes, really begin to think about, yeah. is it necessary for me to be ruled by these memories? Yeah. It's pretty amazing. And again, like, it is as simple as we're saying. Unfortunately, it's hard because it's so simple and because we're yeah. still stuck in the geocentric equation, the crystal prison. And yeah. There's so many names for it. Yeah, it's tough. the matrix. The matrix. Uh, we, again, it's tough for us to break it. Again, all we can really say, I think one of our techniques is to try to find child self. And once yep. you find child self, like, oh, wow, that wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, go back to, we have an episode way, way back now on um, on sort of dancing with the unicorns and yeah. finding your child self. But go back to a space in your memories where you didn't care what anybody thought about you. You fell you, off. You colored outside the lines. You, what? you fell off the bike. Like, again, yeah. our, our, as adult self, if we were learning how to ride a bike, we'd fall off the bike. We'd be like, oh, my God, who's looking? Yeah, I'm so oh embarrassed. My God. Oh my God, Did I'm anybody never, see me? <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to try this again. And, again, this is the adult self. Yes. <laughs> this is the child self will, will walk towards infinite love and infinite happiness. Yeah. It might stumble, but it doesn't really care. Well, and as a child, you know, I wanted to go ride, learn how to ride my bike. I did. I went out on my own. I fell. I got up. I did it again. I fell. I got up. I did it again. I felt, you know, yeah. I, mean, I wanted to learn how to ride the bike. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. And so, I mean, I think if we could... If we could encourage everybody to want a life that is filled with authentic creativity, then it doesn't matter what it takes to get you there. Oh no, I fell off my bike. <laughs> and that's the adult self saying that. Yeah. The child self yeah. actually never says that. No. <laughs> so yeah. again, we'll try to give more techniques on how to actually do this. We just wanted people to be aware that memory it's not really that good. <laughs> well, it's not. Yeah, it's not reliable. It's influenced by the state that we're in, yeah. but it's also rewritable. Yeah. And I think that's important, too, is that yeah. if, for example, you are in a state of depression and you have some experience and you go and you remember that experience and you're seeing it as reinforcing the depression, maybe go back to that memory from a point of... Um, you know, positivity, Once a point of hope. I and survived see, this. Yeah, I'm exactly. Amazing. Exactly. And position yourself as being the powerful one yeah. instead of the... Yeah. yeah, and it really, it really, again, I hate to say it's as simple as that, but it really is that simple. Unfortunately, we, we're stuck in our own matrix, but it really is... It's both powerful and it's it's very again simple. Again, we can either pretend to be an illusion of complexity. Yeah, the illusion of complexity, or we can just recognize it's actually really quite simple. Yeah, and we can we can control it. Yeah, and I think that's the most important thing for us to hit home in almost all of these episodes is that if we're trying to help you detach mm -hmm. from the hamster wheel that we've been convinced life is. Yeah. And one other way of doing that is to question your memories. Yep. Yeah. And also just say, hey, I'm actually, why am I allowing myself to be a victim of my memories? Why am I not controlling this? I mean, I control my imagination. I'm in complete, again, complete control would be an illusion because 100% no. Yeah. But can I influence it? Can I actually use... Can I co-create happiness? Yeah. Yep. And the answer is... 100% yes. Yes, 100% <laughs> yes. 99.99. <laughs> <99. laughs> but yeah, and again, I, I think that's, so what we'd want you guys to do is maybe, again, share some of your experience and memories. And we, and also, if you want to go back to um, your parent or your sibling and, 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 and ask. Yeah, ask about a particular memory. Ask that person to share their perspective and you share your perspective, and it'd be neat if you can even get two or three of them, yeah. you know, and everybody and share their experience. Yeah. See if it's were... completely different. Yep. They're completely different. I've done it before. It's yeah. amazing. It's um... You're like, that's not at all how it happened for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It happens all the time. Well, it happens with us with people like, oh, you told me this. Yes. People come up to us all the time. <laughs> like, I don't think And I'll, I I'll be like, Jason, did, 
did we say that to her? And you'll be like, no, no. we didn't say but that. You hear but it. they heard us say something. Well, now also, if I can, and we might even have an episode on this, that's what also helping other people is people that actually don't hear what you're saying they hear your love yeah they it's the energy yeah. it's, it's more of the energy transfer than the so, actual words so for us perfectionists out there oh yeah who's that? <laughs> but again it's one of those things where like we won't we'll, we'll choose not to help someone because because i'm afraid i can't do it perfectly yeah and you're yeah. like oh i might break them and you're like hey there's no such thing on a soul level you can't break a soul energy <laughs> cannot Let be destroyed or created yeah watch me bend light <laughs> it's not possible so therefore you can't really make a mistake and also they're going to remember what they want to remember and take from the experience what they want to take so you going up to that person it's not going to hurt them one way or another really what you're doing is again if you want to do this because sometimes they're a psychic vampire and it's just a waste of your time and their time yeah but a lot of times choose if you do engage someone choose to make it about you and how to help someone better and i would say play with it and i don't tend, i don't use the word play with it lightly i use it so our ego like toy with it yeah yeah because otherwise our perfectionist ego self will say oh my god no no no, no, no. yeah we need to you don't know this. how to ride the bike perfectly <laughs> yeah you can't do this don't try yeah. yeah and again it's 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 an illusion because again their memories are going to change it yeah i mean yeah so. how they remember your conversation no not, you, not at all you think you're it. saying sage advice <laughs> You might be. (laughs) They're going to remember it bad poorly. And then sometimes, heck, we'll say some of the dumbest stuff. Or, like, we'll just... And that was the most profound thing you've ever said. And they're like, like, okay. (laughs) (laughs) What? So, yeah, again, so that that, on that perspective, so there's two perspectives that we want you to take from this. Both, A, you can control this. But, B, when you're engaging someone... Don't take it as seriously. Yeah, don't put too much stock in it. Like, give it your best. Yeah. Come at interactions from a positive perspective, but don't hold yourself too tightly to what somebody's going to take away from it. Yeah, because it, it, it won't... Uh, you have no what, control over it. Whether it be, a ch- whether it be your child mm-hmm. or a friend or any of that stuff, just give them love. And if they yeah. don't want... If they're not ready to receive it, it's because on an energetic level, they weren't ready to connect with that. Yeah. They still want to remember stuff in a depressed state. They still want to remember stuff yep. in the They're world. reinforcing their own stuff. And it's nothing to do with you. It has very... Unfortunately, yeah. it has very... Because, again, us as both viewers and us as us... Yeah. We Heck, I mean, I wish people could see themselves the way I see them. The way we see them. Yeah. yeah. We see them like, as they're amazing so perfect. people. Yeah. Like, I mean, everyone's... Brilliant so, masterpieces of creation. Yeah. Yeah. And it's... And again, but again, don't... Again, for us perfectionists out there, don't don't take it too seriously because that's what's holding you back yep. from that one conversation that you wanted to have and yep. that you're kind of beating yourself up over. Yeah. You know? So thanks again for being with us. We hope you're enjoying these. As always, make sure and um, subscribe to the channel so that you get updates. And then uh, like us if we uh, if you feel like this was useful for you. And um, pass it along to others. And hey, share an example of one of those memories. Oh, like if, Especially if you get with a brother or sister or mom or dad and... The three or four of you sit and talk about that that example, and it's completely different. Get <laughs> share it with us because it is mind blowing when you really start to look at memory. Mind. It is a mind fuck. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.